The mighty river Floss acts as the source of last reconciliation between the separated Tom and Maggie. The mill is also powered by its flow. You are hearing the voice of Asad Imran on the assimilators. Let's dig deeper into the meaning of the title in The Mill on the Floss. Introduction The Mill on the Floss is a novel by George Eliot with a strong autobiographical bond. Published in 1860, the novel centers around a mill named as Dolcourt Mill. These were small factories and a family who owns and loses after a defeat in a lawsuit. The title of the novel slightly suggests that it is about a mill on a river which was known for its brutal storms. The title holds multiple angles to testify its significance. Before going any further, here is an important message. 88% of you watching this video are not subscribed. It would do me a great favor if you would hit that round subscribe button with due care. River flaws as a symbol. The river serves as the central motif in this novel, which not only represents journey of life but Maggie's uncontrolled emotions as well. The deep channels of the river are symbolized with the rigid habits of the people unaffected beyond the weathering of time. Floss River is also signified as Eden, where two kids, Maggie and Tom Tolliver, play by and glance the tides. Its summer fest leaves its residue in the shape of a round pool where Maggie and Tom used to fish. The flowing of water provides enough energy to grind the wheat which was once cultivated through the water of the same river. Lastly, the river appears as a destructive force, claiming the lives of Tom and Maggie, who met on their final reconciliation. Thus, the title signifies the symbolism of the river in many different ways. The Final Reconciliation The last reconciliation tends to denote the ending of the novel, which is severely criticized by the critics. Written simply sums the deaths of the two protagonists. Quote, the end is weakly prepared. End quote. It is not a faulty piece of story. It rather signifies the allegorical representation of English society in general. Eliot might have written this novel somewhere in the 1850s, the age of industrialization and materialism, but she depicts the purity of the 1830s society through Tolliver's family. Because Tolliver's family in the end is subjected to be swept in the waves of the flood, the purity of 1830s is forced to decay by the industrial materialism of the Victorian era. So, the title gives a hint to the final departure through the symbolic representation of the river. Autobiographical Reference George Eliot did not write this novel just to represent the suffering of a common English woman. She portrays her own life through the rough pages of the particular novel and most critics agree to this point. Just like Maggie, who was somewhat abandoned and scolded by her brother Tom, Elliot was actually abandoned by her brother Isaac, who after getting married and her father having kicked the bucket, she was not allowed to live with her brother in Gareth's house, which was their family abode. This is how Elliot gives a clue to her actual story through the story narrated and illustrated through the title. Conclusion The Mill on the Floss is more than an ordinary title. It denotes the sudden shift from pure emotions to prejudiced materialism and the story of the author's own suffering accurately and effectively. Sources used for this video are currently being displayed 